Good morning. Good morning, Your Excellency, the First Ladies of Africa. Good morning, Professor Frank Stangerberg Havercom, the Chairperson of America Executive Board and Merck Foundation Board of Trustee. Good morning, First Ladies, uh, technical advisors and staff. Today is a very special day because we have our close meeting together with uh, our ambassador of Merck Foundation, More Than a Mother campaign. I'm very honored to have you today here. Today is a very special uh, meeting because this is the first closed committee meeting uh, after coronavirus. We had um, a lot of um, following up on our programs and uh, impact and uh, of course it was following the plenary session and the inauguration session of um, the day before where every first lady has uh, introduced and presented the impact of Merck Foundation partnership uh, and programs in her country. Therefore, the focus on our programs was even more uh, stronger and more impactful and everyone from our ambassadors of the first ladies was really focusing very very um, uh, hard and in a special way to make the programs even more successful because we introduced also the online uh, master degree and diploma in more than 32 medical specialty which is underserved and critical for Africa. I would like now to thank you all of you and also to invite Professor Frank Stangerberg Havercom for a small keynote that he wants to address uh, all of you. I just wanted to summarize this uh, for all of us. Thank you very much, uh, Russia. <clears throat> I'm talking a bit out, out of the program, I have to admit, uh, but it's very close to my heart to say some words. Uh, I listened very carefully yesterday to your different statements in the big meeting and I must say uh, everyone, every each of you uh, said something which really went down extremely well because it showed the personal commitment you all have in getting our cause forward to get a better life for everybody possible and particularly for women. Today we have uh, our uh, tradition that we uh, read together a storybook that uh, supports one of the causes. So uh, we will um, read Jacqueline's uh, rescue. So the start with me and then we'll go at the physical from first lady of Zambia. So uh, Jacqueline, please read the Okay. It's a bright sunny Tuesday morning. And the first lesson of the day is underway of the village primary school. The teacher, Mrs. Aisha, is testing her students' understanding of topic they treated a day before. No, madam. Yes, the government. Are you about to make any meaningful contribution? Or would you be telling the answer is 14? <laughs> no, madam. The square root of H1 is 9, and 9 multiplied by 7 squares. 7 equals 6 threes. Wonderful. That is amazing, I think. Give her a round of applause. <laughs> Jacqueline's usual working part back home seems more interesting today for the first time as she work past the village community hospital. She noticed the hard-working, smartly dressed medical staff going about their work. The ones attending to the mothers and children queued at the center got most of her attention. A pediatrician, you mean? Yes, working at a big hospital. That's a wonderful big dream. And dreams do happen, you know. At a young age, Jacqueline fully understands that this kind of dream can be achieved only through hard work. Assim conseguiremos dinheiro do, de, do, teu, do seu dote para cuidar de nós mesmos e do teu irmão mais novo. Casamento? Pai, o que é isso? Mãe, do que ela está, está a falar? Não entendo. 
Por favor, explique. Desculpe, minha filha. Tu vais entender quando chegares lá. Mrs. Aisha sends Jacqueline back home with a promise to visit right after sorting out her students for the morning lesson. When she went inside, she was met with unpleasant surprise. Uncle Sadiq is here to marry you. See all the bride price. Jacqueline, come over here. Today is your lucky day. She's suddenly thrown into an adult world where she has to do things she used to see her mother do for her father. I cannot believe I'm having to do all of this on a daily basis, cleaning, washing, cleaning and washing of clothes, ironing, going to the market and cooking for the house. Meanwhile, back in the village, Jacqueline's teacher, Mrs. Aisha, has not given up on rescuing her and returning her to school. She has managed to gain the support of a few influential members of the community. Early child marriage is not only harmful to our children's health and well-being, but also locks the girl's future in poverty. With, the new, with this new mindset of people coupled with the local police involvement, it didn't take long to Jack, get Jacqueline's father to succumb. I feel so sorry and irresponsible as a parent for having sent our daughter into early marriage. This can be fixed. The earlier you show us where they lived in the city, the safer it might be for Jacqueline. Je suis si heureuse d'être libre du mariage des enfants. Aucune fille dans ce pays n'a besoin de subir cet abus. Sophie, une glorieuse fête de retour dans le quartier. Hi les amis, c'est Madame Aïcha et Jacqueline. Elles sont de retour. Les camarades de classe et amis de Jacqueline s'étaient tous réunis chez eux pour l'accueillir à nouveau. Some years later, Jacqueline completes her primary and secondary education with flying colors. Finally, I made it here. I'm going to equally study hard to graduate with a first class and proceeds to higher education. The story is in three languages and it will be put on the social media and websites and also distributed uh, uh, as hard copies in each country for students. Now we will start right into the future. It's a bright school day again and most of the children in the community are off early for classes. As usual, Grace, a young bright girl can only look from the corridor of her home. Grace suddenly leaves the house and makes her way to the town center to deliver the goods. All I want is to be in school. How long will I continue to be left behind? Then we go and say what? That evening at Grace's at Beatrice's home, so what's the answer to this one? It's Egypt. Oh wow, you know the answer. That's incredible. Thanks. You are smart and I am wondering why you are still not in school, Grace. Well, hmm, it's a long story, Beatrice. Early the next day, Grace wakes up to the noise of excited kids in the neighborhood. It's Saturday. I wonder what could be so exciting out there at this time. It's a bako, a visitor to the town having some fun with the children taking turns on his bicycle. Ha ha, you fell again. Okay, that's enough. Observe me, rapazes. Vou, aquel, vou para aquela árvore e volto. Ha ha ha. Deus misericordioso. A menina está a andar de bicicleta. Ha, 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 ha. Adoro isso. Vá, Grace. Mostra aos meninos como fazer. Grace picks herself on the bike and once again turns away even further and with more confidence. The boys ha had no choice than to follow her with cheers and jubilations. 
Oh, oh yes. Hoorah! This is awesome. The bike indeed was a blessing. Now she can not just ride to school to get an education, but also run a few more errands for the family with much ease. I will drop off these items before heading to school. I can't be late again. Ha ha. I am so grateful for that gift. It just unearthed so much potential in my daughter. You could have easily missed this if you had continued keeping her at home. Education is really the best thing for our children. Indeed, with that gift, Grace managed to successfully ride through her primary to secondary education. She passed and qualified for higher education in the city. Another good news, mother, I have passed with flying colors. I am heading for higher education. That's my daughter. Quelques semaines plus tard, Grace et sa mère étaient en ville. Ils en ont profité pour rencontrer Abeko et sa mère. Je dois dire que votre prévenance a vraiment aidé ma fille à terminer ses études. Nous sommes heureux d'entendre cela. Même si Grace s'est retrouvée dans une classe dominée par les hommes, elle n'a pas été découragée. En fait, elle s'est avérée prise plus dur élève à battre pour les positions les mieux notées dans la plupart des matières. She never forgot her roots. She always went back to the town twice a year to support more students into education by donating bicycles to the school children. So what do you think about the stories? It's good? <laughs> So we will distribute this and we have other stories also but we're not reading of course it but just to give you an idea what they are of course we all know the David story from last time and also educating Linda and make the right choice we've done in during coronavirus it's about raising awareness about coronavirus but also about honesty and loyalty and, and uh, work there's another one which is uh, Jude sugar free it's a very good one for diabetes and for children specifically who get diabetes because of ob obesity or bad um, uh, habits of non-exercising, it's really re good raising awareness to prevent diabetes very much uh, or manage it properly. And uh, um, not who you are, it's about gender-based violence, domestic violence. It's also a very, very nice one about uh, a, a husband who abuses his uh, wife and then they come back after um, to happiness and uh, to respect her and ab appreciate her. It's really also nice and it's been made in a very nice way for children so they can understand how to respect their future uh, wives and future women in their life. So that's it. So um, Dr. Frank, can you please close the, close the meeting? I think we finished. Thank you all for attending. Uh, I know it was well, not always easy to come from all parts of Africa or even New York, so it's always a long trip. Uh, but it was worthwhile. I think it's very important to have this sort of meeting simply to exchange views and to agree on the next step forwards. So I'm very much looking forward to seeing all of you, hopefully also the first ladies who couldn't come. Thank you very, very much, uh, Professor Frank. There's one thing only, Dr. Uh, Her Excellency, the First Lady of Bronte, uh, uh, give us a, a gift uh, of uh, her um, daughter uh, song, and she wants to play it to us. So if you don't mind, just it takes two minutes. Yeah. Yes, please.
<laughs> it's a camera work is amazing. Yeah. Perfect. Yeah, yeah. Very, very yeah. Very high quality. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you.